everybody, welcome back. I hope you're all having a great day. Zhanya with more Mars anomalies and oddities. This time we at a site just to the north of Spallanzani. I've been spending a couple of weeks around that region in Hellas Planitia. The photograph we're analyzing is called Distinct Thermal Physical Unit in Hellas Planitia. Acquired quite recently on the 1st of October 2020 at 25.1 centimeters per pixel. I'm showing you images are cropped from this JP2 black and white map projected file just over a gigabyte in size. There's a look at the low res JPEG and the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of these white dots scattered about throughout this region. At the time of this video, the high-rise photograph had not been loaded to Google Earth Mars yet. The site we're checking out is right there, located roughly 54 degrees 32 minutes south, 88 degrees 52 minutes east. And it's just to the north of the strange circular depression, Spallanzani in Hellas Planitia. There's the first anomaly right there, folks. We can see... Plenty more of these smaller objects with little protrusions or knobs on them. But I'm going to focus on this one right there, folks. This one's about 15 to 18 meters long. And it's about 12 meters wide. And why I'm zooming in on this one is the strange sort of dome shape that it's got with these smaller sphere right there in the center and it seems to have like a smooth rectangular section of yet to the left and also yet to the right and in line with that dark spot on this dome we've got another protrusion or knob right there this looks like some type of structure maybe even some type of craft who knows what the heck we're looking at here, folks, but it looks pretty molded or sculpted. Real interesting symmetry and geometry going on there, folks. Now we're looking at this strange disc-shaped object, about 12 meters across. And strangely enough, it's got this long, narrow piece on the one side parallel with this edge check that out we've got a uniform gap over there and a uniform width to this object over here it looks almost as if this here is some type of hatch maybe this is an opening who knows what's going on there folks but check out the strange protrusion over here in the center and then the very symmetrical, geometric, rounded side of here. Another disc-shaped object here, folks. This one's about 6 meters in diameter, and it's got a small conical feature in its center. I've seen so many of these on Mars already, and I'll show you a couple more that I've discovered in other sites around Spallanzani at the end of the video. So we've got more common trends going on there. Yeah, we'll be zooming in on this strange rectangular object over there, folks. It's about 12 by 14 meters in size. Check out the straight edges and right angles to it. There's another piece of here to the top. Also with right angles to it. And then another one of those strange disc-shaped objects, a little conical feature on it, and a straight edge on the one side. Another structured item with some geometry in the smaller objects placed on top of it. This piece is about 12 meters long. Check out the straight edge there, as well as over here right angle there and then the strange arrangement of smaller objects on the top in a row parallel with this one side and i'm not sure if this piece of here 
to the left joins to this larger piece. It's also got straight edges and right angles to it. Rather weird, check this out as well, this part on top also has a uniform width to this one side. Parallel with this side and this piece is also parallel with this side. Strange alignment over there. We've got a long narrow part here, wedge shaped. That piece there is about 12 meters long. Check out that design folks and then off to the one side we've got this small spherical object there's a similar one over there don't know if it's attached to this bottom piece and then it's folded up but there's another weird part underneath this folks also with the this time with a rectangular protrusion on the top. Check it this over here on the side, definitely elevated above the surface and then it's got a right angle to it as well. Very straight edge. I've seen a couple of pieces like this in other sites on Mars as well. Now we're looking at this strange disc shaped object it's about five meters across. Check out the symmetry and geometry going on here, folks. In the center, we've got this small dome or sphere. Some odds and ends lying around here as well. Many blocky items. Let's check out this piece over here, guys. That's about six meters across slightly elevated off the surface on the one side very straight edges and a right angle to it as well it looks as if it's slightly bent down here on the corner almost like a piece of sheet metal and on top of it we've got two smaller parts arranged parallel with this one side and we're looking at that strange disc or dome shaped object over there to the top right which is about 12 to 14 meters in diameter check out the perfect disc shape to it and then it's covered in smaller parts what I find intriguing about this is that there's a protrusion right there in its center again folks similar part over here on the one side looks like an opening over here to the right you can see this is like a skirt going around the disc or a really strange edge to it another L-shaped piece over there and then a rectangular part on this one side get the right angles and straight edges to that piece and we're looking at another block folks this one's about eight meters long it's about four by four meters in size on that one side over there check out the right angles to this part as well another block about the same size and yeah we can see the straight edges and right angles to it right let's head on down to that site north of Spallanzani in Alice Planitia the circular depression Spallanzani is right there folks the site we're looking at is about 300 kilometers up here to the north and there's a look at the anomalies briefly we'll also check out some other structured items around this region what are the chances of this happening guys 
these round disc shaped objects with these smaller protrusions in their centers. Highly likely I'll show you more. Let's go down to huge block discovered west of Spallanzani. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. Check out this one. It's very similar to this one over here. Strange dark material sticking out of this rectangular opening over there. Another half a disc. Let's go down to strange anomalies spotted south of Spallanzani. Another disc shaped object with a protrusion or dome like piece in the center. There's another one like it. Another one, folks. Another structured item. Might even be wreckage. Check out this piece. Straight edges, right angles to it. Wonder if that is some type of craft triangle and a disc mounted on top of each other. Let's see what else we've got around here. Lots more to discover in this region folks. I'll be looking into that in the near future. For those of you that haven't checked out Rich's channel over at Goofon yet, I'll include the link in the description below. Rich has been featuring a lot of my anomalies in some of his recent videos. Thanks for that Rich, much appreciated, huge shout out to you. While you're here folks, click on subscribe, hit the bell and click on all. That way you'll know when he uploads his next video. He's got a great sense of humor as well. Let me know what you guys and girls make of these. I look forward to reading your comments, your analysis and opinion of what we just checked out. Relics north of Spallanzani. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it folks. To the new subs, welcome on board. I hope you enjoy my work and research. Take care everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now.